Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn uh, how to create a matrix report by using a report wizard in SSRS. So a matrix report is a grid report or summary report. So here in this report we are going to use some data and I have a table that called total sale. Now in the total sale table we have a sale person name, first name, last name and product name. We have items sold and the money we made uh, after selling those products is called sold price and sold date, city, state, country and region. From this data set uh, I have created uh, three reports. Uh, those are done uh, by using the uh, report wizard and we use the matrix uh, option there. So let me show you those reports uh, so you can uh, really make sense uh, how they will look like. First of all if you see this report uh, I have a region uh, on the page level. So here we have Asia and under that one we have uh, countries uh, so we, India and Pakistan uh, is uh, in Asia and then uh, on the left side uh, we have the product names uh, such as cell phone, computer, laptop and TV. N now in between uh, or in the intersection of uh, uh, the country and product name uh, we have uh, the actual data or detail uh, so we have items sold and uh, sold price for that one. If I click uh, on the next page uh, I will see the data for the Europe region so I have Europe and then countries for Europe and then uh, products and uh, the details. Next uh, if I'm going to go to the next page uh, I have North America and in North America we have only one country and then we have uh, different products. Now there are some uh, interesting things uh, if you notice here we have only one country here and uh, this uh, report was able to accommodate uh, that situation. In the if we go to the back uh, page uh, and here we have two countries. Uh, so if you will get different values uh, for uh, let's say tomorrow you will have Finland or uh, and, uh, Sweden uh, in the European region uh, and uh, you had made some sale from those customers, those will be automatically added to this uh, grid. Uh, so you don't have to make any changes uh, to your uh, table or the report uh, or your data query. Now here also if you see that uh, there are three four products uh, what we have uh, here in the other one uh, we have three products uh, so if uh, tomorrow you have less or more products uh, that will be also managed uh, so that's really good uh, sometimes uh, this is more this makes uh, report more uh, dynamic uh, now let me take you to another one so here what we have uh, in this report we have a region on the top of that and then we have countries under that region. For Asia we have Asia, uh, India and Pakistan, for Europe we have France and Germany and North America uh, we have USA. And uh, on the left side we have uh, product names and here are our values those or details we wanted to present. And uh, th this is uh, also created by using a matrix option in a report wizard. The third one if you see here I have created this report uh, and it is a drill down matrix report. Uh, so I took the product uh, on the column level, on the row level I brought the region uh, and then uh, I put the country under that. Uh, so Asia has two countries and uh, that's how I am I'm presenting my data. So you see there are different type of reports uh, can be created uh, by using a matrix uh, option in the report wizard and they are really easy to create. So let me open SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and create a new project and we create these reports. Now let, let's go to the file new project. Provide the name to the project. So I'm going to call this one is matrix reports and the solution I'm going to call SLN and one solution can have multiple projects. So here the our project file and solution file and everything will be saved in uh, this uh, folder. Hit OK. We, we have created empty project and we are going to create the reports from there. And we could have a started wizard but we, don't, we didn't do it. So it's our choice how we want to move forward. So in the reports tab we can right click here add new um, re report and then uh, the report wizard is going to start. Uh, hit new, uh, next. And first of all we have to tell uh, or create uh, a data source. So data source is a connection string to your database. There are different options we have here. We have a SQL Server, we have a SQL Server Azure, we have Oracle, Teradata and all those kind of thing. So from where is your uh, choice you can select uh, 
uh, according to your need. So if you are selecting the data from Oracle, you can go ahead and select Oracle. In my case, I'm selecting from Microsoft SQL Server, so I have selected that one. And I'm going to name this one Sales because my database uh, that is uh, having this table uh, sale t total sale is in the sales database. Uh, so I'm going to call this one Sales. Fine. I can write my string uh, connection string here, or I can build uh, in this. Uh, uh, video I'm gonna build by myself actually when I write it I can make mistakes so I don't that's why I don't write it but it's very easy you will see once it will be built so, so we select the SQL server name and then select the database we hit a test connection fine okay so data source is equal to your SQL server name and you have a semicolon and then you have initial catalog that's your database name make this uh, data source as a shared data source yes that's what i want to do because uh, i will be creating other reports and i want to use the same data source uh, and uh, that's why i want to make it uh, shared hit next now i'm not interested uh, to build my query by using query builder I, I can write my query in ssms and bring it from here now in this case uh, when i was showing you data on different reports uh, if you guys notice uh, i did not use uh, the sale person name sale person last name and uh, even i did not use uh, the date part date uh, sold date at all and also state uh, i didn't use it uh, but i can remove the state if i want so only bring those columns uh, what you need so it's your choice uh, from this table i'm selecting few of the column so i have select query copy it and that's that's all we need if we need something else we can go ahead and uh, um, add that later it's no big deal once the report is generated we can always make changes bring the query here paste it next now if i will go with the tabular let's go with the tabular and see what we have here you have page group and detail so i'm going to come back and show you what we have in matrix so in the matrix you see where the layout uh, or the format did change for that uh, page so in this case if you see all of them on the rows and columns uh, here in the matrix uh, you it kind of make a grid uh, so you can see these uh, bold uh, um, letters or characters uh, these are x marks right so what what we see here we had three options uh, in the uh, mat tabular report we had page we had column but we did not uh, had rows so but now here we have the rows as well because that's how the grid consists or that's how the grid is going to be established or become a, I don't know whatever you call it but anyways for the matrix report you need the rows so first report remember we created the region was on a page so I'm putting on the page you can see it is highlighted and then uh, next part we had those countries on the column so we took the country sorry remove it select the country and put on the column and uh, we had a product name uh, on the rows uh, so if you see that it is uh, highlighted here and the last uh, the intersection between uh, the columns and the rows uh, or the details uh, were items sold and i uh, sold price it looks good now if you see here the enable drill down is uh, grayed out why because we have only one column we you can't really go ahead and drill down to drill down we need uh, more uh, information uh, such as let's say if you have country and state it will give you option uh, to enable drill down and uh, you could have put here even uh, on the rows as well so we will bring that uh, it's okay uh, I'm gonna bring uh, some of the information in the next probably and use that so now we can go ahead and next use uh, the forest and then call this one matrix one and preview the report finish all these reports what we create with the wizard they can create from the empty report you can always uh, do the things by yourself uh, it's no big deal now once uh, you will see this report is created you can see that Asia is coming here and then uh, we have countries uh, and uh, we have a uh, item sold and uh, item price here are our um, products and if you go to next uh, we have Europe and that's what the European countries are looking like and uh, the information we have here so this is a uh, sum of uh, all those uh, uh, values now if we go to next uh, we have only USA 
if tomorrow somebody will go ahead and add uh, the Canada then uh, would the Canada will uh, be here so as long as you will keep adding those countries uh, and we have in the columns or in the uh, rows uh, they will be coming up uh, uh, same goes with the region if a new region will be added uh, there would be a next page uh, for that uh, so we don't have to make changes uh, once uh, we are done with the creating a report uh, now let's go back and create a new report uh, now in the new report uh, add new report uh, and here create uh, uh, start your wizard again next uh, and paste your query remember we had uh, product name and let me take a look uh, whatever whatever the column we use uh, so uh, we can have the same columns here so we use a uh, region and then we had country and uh, here we had uh, the product uh, and uh, then the uh, rest of the sold item are same so this report can be created with the same uh, columns what we are ex using as of now so we have product name sold item and uh, country and region fine hit next go to matrix uh, here in this case we are not using the page uh, on uh, uh, in this report uh, we are going to use the column on the column the first thing we want uh, we want the region and then uh, under the region we want the country so you see that so how these get highlighted when you click and add them and also you see that enable drill down uh, is the uh, option uh, for us uh, now we can go ahead and use it but we are not going to use in this case uh, but you can uh, use it uh, now you have region then on region you click it and countries will show up uh, that's how enable drill down is uh, now in the rows uh, we want the product name and then uh, in the detail we want the item sold and price uh, and uh, hit next I'm gonna go with the forest make a difference from the uh, other report matrix underscore two preview report now you can see that uh, this is how the report will be looking like uh, you have a region and then uh, you have a uh, countries uh, for that region and then uh, you have uh, finally you have the products uh, name uh, on the left uh, so this is a really great uh, report I, I like these type of report and these summary reports gives you a lot of information uh, on top of that we can always create drill down and all those uh, reports so let's say somebody click uh, on India then uh, another report pop up and only show the detail of India or uh, if somebody click on this sold price 1500 uh, and then it uh, click here and it will it will take us to the detail we will create those all reports uh. now uh, if we go to design uh, I forgot to take you to design in the previous video it's very simple so you see that here it's a matrix uh, or uh, what we have here now in the matrix so what we have uh, we have region we have country and uh, we have uh, uh, items and then uh, it is some of those uh, values uh, such as item sold and uh, sold price and here we have a product you can create actually we will create the same reports uh, from the basic and you will learn it's uh, not that difficult to create now let's go back to the last one and uh, create the last report I showed you right click here in the reports uh, add new report go to the wizard select the shared data source so because we are selecting from the same uh, database and uh, actually a table so if uh, as long as you are selecting the data from the same uh, database uh, one data source is enough for you now let's uh, paste it and next uh, and uh, click matrix and now in this case uh, remember we had column the product name was on column so we put that there and then uh, oh god um, it's raining heavily here and uh, also thunderstorm so if you guys hear some voices uh, it's uh, you know uh, na mother nature so that's fine uh, now here we have on the columns we have a product name and uh, on the rows uh, we want to have the region first so I'm adding region and then I want to add the country so you see enable drill down uh, option is available now so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that one and in the detail the same information and the numbers will go now we hit next and uh, click uh, forest that's the style of the report we wanted and we can call this one a matrix uh, drill down review your report and now 
you can see your report it's really I like <laughs> this report uh, once again I'm gonna say that I, I love these reports uh, because this give you much information uh, and summary information uh, and especially with Asia you can see okay with Asia you have India and Pakistan here and uh, these are the items uh, or uh, sold uh, and cell phone okay five cell phones were sold in uh, India and the total price uh, they were 1500 uh, American dollar and then we have computer and all those kind of things you can see all the way and if you click on Europe you can see Germany and France and uh, the sale happen in those countries for North America you have only one country uh, in our records uh, and uh, that's uh, the information we can see here these are very basic uh, matrix report uh, so if you see here we can uh, these are empty uh, cells we can always put zero if you want it but this cannot be done with the uh, mat uh, report wizard we have to do by ourselves I will show you all those details how we can uh, sometime it's a good idea to put those zeros here where the empty cells are and also we don't have grand totals uh, from here let's say we don't have a grand totals uh, by uh, let's say count we want to take the count by uh, item sold uh, and uh, all across uh, just the cell phones uh, or uh, you know uh, for each of that computer and all those kind of things we can have grand total right here and also we can go ahead and here for Asia we can have a grand total here by the price uh, and the total item sold by the uh, Asia region and uh, th this will we will be doing all, all those kind of fun things uh, in the uh, next uh, videos so stay tuned and uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video